What's up, everybody? It's your boy PJ Max, aka the Joy Hunter, and well, I just recently happened to get a box. I got a box from my boy Cecil from Cecil's Diecast. You guys probably commented on his his videos, maybe watched some of it. He's got this kind of sticker right here. This is what he sent me. So uh, we're gonna open up the box and take a look and see what Cecil had in mind for me. Now I already sent him a box. Now. Interesting thing is back in the day, we used to do this thing called roking, R-A-O-K, meaning random act of kindness. And usually this was a situation where you sent somebody something who was in another state, maybe another city or whatever, but y'all been following each other online, had lots of conversations. And so you just decide to do something random, like send them a box full of die casts. Well, nowadays it's more like we're doing this and we call it mail call. And so with that, let's jump into this mail call and see what... Cecil sent in from Cecil's diecast. So I'm gonna open this box over here off to the side because I just don't have enough space to zoom out too far. And so let's just take a look at it and see what kind of goodies are in here. So here's what we got. Right off the bat, we've got a matchbox. So this is a Bentley. So this is a 2018 Bentley. And you know, it's pretty cool. I've seen these before. They're hanging on the pegs down here in dallas so yeah that's a cool one we've got this eight crate and you can tell by this card right this is an older one this is anything here in the last uh four or five years so the eight crates just one of those classic die cast cars and so yeah it's one of those cars right one of those cars i think right now if there's a favorite right now it's probably this one check out this mazda repute this is pretty cool this is something yeah, this is going to be something I'll be pretty excited about. And this one, according to the back, this was a 2020 release. And then, of course, these are some of the others that were in the set with this one. But, wow. Yeah, this one's pretty nice. This is a good get right here. All right, digging further into the box. Going further, further, further. All right, also in the box is this one, the Volkswagen Beetle. Now this I already have, so yeah, this is interesting. I got it both blue and green, and of course the new one is showing up in the 20 packs, and it's the turquoise one, which you guys have seen me talk about. So yeah, got this one. Now, now look at this older blue card. So you got this 2004 first edition of this Corvette, so check that out. Right, that's not too bad, right? C6. So you can tell again, look at the card, see how different it is. So this one's definitely an older one than what you see now. And this is what it used to look like on the back. Okay, got it down, got it down, got it down. Now, this is interesting. This is a Land Rover Series 3 pickup. So this is actually kind of cool. I kind of dig this one. Yeah, check that out. Hope my lighting shows up pretty well, but yeah on the card nice card artwork i dig this out currently right now in that vw set so i already have this one i know there's a second vw set out now this matter came out last year if i right now my mind is in kind of in a bit of a haze but yeah i've seen this custom beetle uh yep also in the box also check this out volvo p1800 gasser i've seen this one i've got this one already so now there would make a couple so legends tour car and all of that so there we go this this is the baja hauler so it's an off-grid delivery so it's not something i necessarily collect it's not nothing wrong with it or bad or anything it's okay and i think that it has that special feature on it where i guess you can lift this up and it functions like a real like a dump truck would so there you go, also in the box. All right, we've got a short card here of the Big Air Bel Air. So we've got a turquoise, seen this one, and already have this one as well. But you know, I'm gonna be hard. I'll just tell you that I'm gonna be hard to buy for because I already buy what I want, right? I live here in North Dallas. There's a ton of shows, ton of collectors. So I'm usually not hurting for main lines. So now this is one, this one's called Road Bandit. You know, it's pretty decent casting, right? Yep, and you can see it was new for 2020. So I bumped the camera. All right, I do collect these. And I have this one. It's the 17 Ford GT. So you guys have seen this one. So this is the standard long card. And so 
that's part of that then and now series, as y'all remember. So also in the box. And so to follow up with that, there is this 2016 Ford GT race. So there's a, a two pack that's out right now that has the two different GT races in it. So this again is a classic, pretty cool car, you know, not too bad. The card's a little wonky on the J hook, but it's here. Like I said, I'm just hard, folks. It's just hard to buy for. I usually buy what I like, so it's usually not, you know, main lines, I'm going to pretty much have what I want, but that's just how it goes. The McLaren 720 Spider. I got at least three of these. So, yeah, it's a cool casting. Love it. Uh, McLarens, how could you be upset with this car and the styling, the color choice? You know, maybe you could swap out the wheels or something like that. But, uh, yeah, this is this is pretty cool, too, and it's also in the box so it looks like there's a few things that are loose in the bag let's pull it out let's see what what is in here pray tell and well here we go so i remember this one from that serial line that they were doing a while back so it's a 49 ford coe for those who want to see the bottom and i remember this so this was part of that series that they did of the, the pop cereals or whatever so yeah i remember this one it's cool casting. It is cool. All right, got another loose vehicle here. Okay, so this is definitely not a Hot Wheel, but it's okay. So we can see by some of this, this is a custom. So there it is, the old Ford step side here, checking it out. There you go, got the little bumper action going, painted headlights, tail lights. Okay, so we got another loose one. We also have this Mopar here. So I remember this is another one of those 2004 first editions. So it was the Dodge Neon. So I do like drag inspired cars. I do have this one because you know, it's a Mopar and it's a drag car, but here you go. All right, we got another Lucy here. Let's pull it out. Take a look. Ah. Okay, so this one again, check it out. Got this Dodge Viper. So as you can see here, looking at the bottom, there you go. So you got this Dodge Viper here. It's a matchbox, so check out the wheels. Oh yeah, it's good paint. Yeah, definitely have a favorite spot for Mopars, for sure. I like my JDMs, but I still love my American Muscle, baby. All right, looks like we got one more Lucy here in the bag. Let's see, what, what do we have here? Oh, okay, check it out. Check out that Chevy. So let's see what we got here on the back. So obviously not a Hot Wheel. So you see this Blazer. It's got the American Expire. It's got the American livery on it. In terms of the flag. Looks like this is on here to keep the top down. So it's convertible, if you will. You got the spare tire rack here in the back. There you go. It says Bald Eagle Machine. So, yep. This is pretty cool. It's pretty cool casting. So, all right. Setting that down to the side, and it looks like there's also it's a quick little letter there in here. He's just saying, hey, brother, hope you like the box. Enjoy Cecil's diecast. Very cool. Very cool. Okay, there is one more piece of business. We need to give a shout out to the subscribers because the subscribers on this channel matter. So when you, if you've watched this video this far, you might want to consider going ahead and subscribing because you're enjoying this content. If you're here to the very end, then that's awesome. So let's go ahead and shout out those who have already hit the subby button. And that would be Jim, Joey W, Chandara, and Morelius 2. Thank you all for your subs. I appreciate you. We're also going to put your name up in lights. Also, a quick note, we're almost up on 500. We're at 442 or something like that. So that means the next couple of videos, we'll be talking about 
how to get in, how to win the prize. Cause when we hit 500, we are definitely doing another giveaway and we're going to do it big. And that's all thanks to you all who have stayed, who the folks that are right here right now watching this very ending, you're the reason why this channel is growing. And then the more the channel grows, the more time I can put into it to put even more programs on here that you guys like more stuff that you want to see me break down and, and take you through as we make it about entertainment and a little bit about education at the same time. So, all right, folks, I am sending you out with this one phrase and that is collect what you love, love what you collect, and you will have fun in this hobby. But in the meantime, in between time, let's check out the crawl.